Hi, Tyler. Hi, Isaac. Hello, Vika. How you doing? I'm doing well today. Thank you. How are you guys? Yeah, I'm all right. Just had a bit of a call, an interesting call with someone new joining the community, which is cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, let's just give another uh, couple of minutes to see if there's other people joining. Uh, oh, Tyler, you you're on mute, I think. I'm saying, is that the real Arta or is that just your account? <laughs> no, that's me logging in from his account. Also, you're, you're also an author today. Yeah, I was just on a call to record it, so and I just not switch. Oh, I just okay. not switch log on, but it makes no difference, so it's fine. All right, then let's get started. Uh, I think this will be a quick call. Uh, Tyler, do we have any organizational updates that you're aware of? Um, nothing specific. We've been, we're still working through the CRM system. We're gonna look at um, bringing like live data into it now, but beyond that, I don't know of anything. All right, thank you. Um, I see there's been some updates with uh, the engagement community channel. Is there anything new to add over here? Oh, this, I mean, I can quickly show you what I've been working on. Uh, yeah, I can quickly show. Sure, I've stopped sharing. You should also be able to share now, I think. Yeah. You're on mute again, I think, Tylo. I'm not, I'm just mumbling. I'm just mumbling, so uh, I'm not breaking okay. my mic filter. So yeah, I've been, we're building like a, a, a new member user, user map, which we're starting to work through. And um, we're starting to look at um, empathy mapping for the community. And I've started to build like a, like the why people join for the volunteering so that's something we're working on like we're interested nice. in seeing anybody anybody else is interested in more in um the ux and the experience of the community so if we're going to be reaching out to more of them kind of people to see if they want to help i love it process the why this we're, looks amazing i mean we're gonna well basically hey, i'm okay. kind of i'm kind of planning to just have this one big document with all of our different UX thoughts and organizational thoughts and because it can be unlimited. So it's just not necessarily a central repository, but a one place for editing and thinking about things. And and, and I would like to start adding like, because I've started to come, you know, people, what people have put in the, the, the motivations and purpose channel. I've started to like mm -hmm. pull out some of them and I'm going to, I've, I've just had an interview with this, this Anak guy, and I'm going to make some notes from that about his on, on go, his onboarding process. And I'm going to, we're just going to start like building more research into the actual communities system and improve, mm -hmm. improving the process by understanding how people go through it. And then, um, yeah, there's just been, he shared a really interesting tool called Rome Research, which he built. Is like hey, at least you had all this sex before all of this. Link you know. in general about it, but 
Can you guys uh, can you guys mute uh, Kevin Lee? Thank oh. you. Sorry, okay. I had I muted. Perfect. Yeah, there's um, that, some interesting some interesting discussions. Happen. Interesting discussions. We build. We're starting to build um, a user journey. We're starting to understand the the process. There's lots. There's lots of notes in there. Um, so we're going to be starting building more on that. And if people are interested in user experience and like web web development in web design stuff, we're going to be looking for more people to more than anything, not because we don't have enough people, but we want more people's points of view and to really kind of get a better idea on that front. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what we've got so far on the uh, community engagement stuff. That sounds great, actually. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks, Tyler. Uh, now that we have Arthur on the call, um, is there any organizational update uh, that you wanted to share, Arthur? I did check with Tyler. Uh, but anything else that you may want to add? Yeah, primarily, I, I'm just trying to piece all the pieces together. And we're working on primarily infrastructure things to um, speed up all of these amazing things that we've discussed with uh, a group of Rockefeller researchers and then Keithy formulated it. And I think our goal this week is to formalize that document. And whoever has feedback, on that document, just jump in and leave comments straight on that document, um, just for us. Should we, it, should we link that document on the general? Yeah, on the so people can on the day on the general and the organizational updates for today, because yeah. it it'll basically take a lot of uh, intelligent people uh, probing the all the language, so it's it's easier to understand externally and researchers can easily understand what we're trying to accomplish because i think we're already in a pretty good place in that with that document and thanks uh, to kathy we were able to kind of contract all of that uh knowledge and word salads um but yeah let's let's just make a, f a final push and then we'll be able to put it up on the website and just test if like external people resonate to it Sounds good. Thanks, Arthur. Uh, later on, maybe if you can just add the link to the document here and on the general channel, or just ping it to me, I can do them. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll add it real quick. Awesome. Uh, all right. Do we have Maya on the call? I don't think so. Uh, we don't have Dan on the call either for VT updates. Um, don't think we have anyone from Task Ties either. All right. Um, Arthur, are there any updates around the uh, discovery? Uh, and search engine side of things, any of these four really? Yeah, so discovery engine is kind of the, the same thing with the document because basically oh, okay. AI powered literature review. So it's the same milestone for that. And in terms of, we're, we're still working on figuring out that, uh, you know, that way to replace Kaggle contributions page with our Corona Mad uh, tables. There's still a couple of things that um, are missing. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan Sosa connected with Paul Mooney from Kaggle and helped us clarify what's missing. Basically, we need ability to compress giant tables into the easy ones to, to read, like 20 columns into five columns, and we're working on that. From the search engine, I believe that there is some major progress happening with uh, Lukash working with Slava, Anton, but I have no clue what, what's happening there. Okay, no problem. Uh, 
Uh, all right. Uh, I don't think we have Slava or Anton either for the infrastructure or data set updates. So moving on. Um, hi, Isaac. How's it going with patient forecasting? Um, yeah, it's going good. So uh, yeah, we've uh, I posted the plan to our channel for our next couple months and people seem to like it. So I guess we're going to try to follow that. Um, we did get some basic confidence intervals integrated into our model, which is there a link to that document? Um, yeah, in our in our Slack channel there is. Um, I can uh, I can DM it to you though too, if you want. Uh, maybe add it to the the daily progress sheet. Okay. Um, sure. Is your Slack channel team patient forecasting itself? And if it is, yeah. Yep. Can you can you add me to it? Because it's one of the channels I can't get to. I think I'm presuming it's private. So. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we originally started as a private. Yeah. It's going to be, it might be one of the things that you might want to move it from private as an archive yeah. and bring it into public because if people can't find it and they have to be added to it, it was fine at the beginning, but usually it gets clunky after it. And also because the longer it's private, the longer that information stays locked away and no one can get into it. So just so you know. Okay. So yeah, we finished. So we got that going. Um, and yeah, and yeah we, we're working on our data infrastructure. Uh, also, I published a blog post on Medium in Towards Data Science detailing our team's kind of what we're doing and our goals. So if someone could, so if people could help share that and, uh, yeah, uh, where's the article? Uh, I posted it to the general channel a while ago, but I'll, I can also shoot you a DM with it too. Uh, just keep uh, adding to this uh, table with the daily progress and people can pick it up from here. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Um, so, so um, yeah, those are the major things from us. Um, and yeah, I'll I'll add those links in a second. Awesome. Sounds good. Um, are there any blockers, Isaac, or anything you need help with? Um, no blockers at the moment. Uh, with the data stuff, that's still kind of going a bit slow, but we are working with Anton and Slava, so hopefully that will be up and running soon. Awesome. I'm excited to check out the post. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Isaac. Um, we don't have Ali on the call either. So uh, moving on to external team updates. Uh, again, we don't have Kyle on the call, but if this um, any update that author you or uh, Tyler are aware of around this? Yeah, I've not seen anything regarding them um, posting anything in their channels recently, but it's because we're only, they're all, all only bridge channels, so we only see what they post in the bridge channel alone. So unless they only send stuff directly to us through the bridge, we don't see it. Yeah, okay. uh, I think Anton has more context into it, so maybe we should pin him to update this. All right, I'll check with him on that. Um, since we do have a few minutes uh, left, if I can just ask generally what exactly these teams are, because I've never really um, heard much about these in the calls that I've been um, hosting or attending. So uh, just wondering um, what's happening. Health, Health Lens is a group that's building um, an AI tool to to read CT to read CT and X-rays for signs of acute respiratory distress, distress syndrome. So ads. So the idea is they're trying to train um, AI models to be able to read the signs of ads beforehand or as early as possible. Um, from x-ray and CT scans and then build that into something that can be used by obviously radiologists. That's, that's the summary of it from my end. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're hoping that this, um, whatever they build in terms of uh, converting the x-ray and, and CT scan uh, data can be useful for any of our coronavirus projects, is it? 
or are we sort of helping them in building the data? How are we uh, really interfacing? Good question. So I think Aman, uh, I think Aman uh, joined their team to help with the computer vision stuff. Um, they also requested help with data sets and they created a call for data uh, document, but we haven't really done much to, to help them with the data sets. Um, it's not that we're not trying to, it's just the data sets are exceptionally specific. They're looking yeah. for people who, who have had an x-ray or a CT scan while having COVID and went on to have acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is very deadly and dangerous. And obviously Mm -hmm. Side that and the and the actual number of people who have gone through not only had it but had x-rays and cts and then went on to have ads it's just it's a tiny tiny sample set really right. so the problem is the mixture of finding the sample anonymizing the sample sets and finding something that's um and finding enough of them to train with i think that's going to be the main problem for me that's what i see mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. The curation uh, task force is. What does the curation task force do? Are they just. They so that's of... our bridge channel with the uh, actual Kaggle team uh, Paul Mooney, uh, Anthony, CEO of Kaggle, and medical researchers that are working on the round two uh, of Kaggle submission that's and Dr. tables. Type, isn't it? That's Dr. Taib yes. is leading that. So he's the yes. leader on that one. Yeah, Dr. except I haven't interacted with him for over a month. So he may be either not available or has significantly less time to focus on this. So we've been interacting with Paul. Again, it, again, it goes into um, a mixture of the fact that he obviously is a doctor and also um, the fact that we're only in one channel and their channels are... Yeah. They've got multiple channels on the other side. That we're doing this. Okay. All right. Um, should be on there, but I've not seen anything from them recently either. That's mm -hmm. Matrix, Coview, Task Force, but again, these are just like quiet parts. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you both for uh, enlightening me around those two uh, teams. Does anyone have any general points for discussion, thoughts, suggestions? If not, we're good to go. Thanks, everyone, for your time. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye.